Now we're going to run through assigning a custom domain. If you own a domain name, you can use it with your new Square Online Store by pointing its A records to the new Square Online Store IP address. This will allow you to publish your site to your domain name while continuing to manage and renew the domain through your current domain host. First, let's change your site address in the settings for your site. Save your changes to get the IP address you will need to point your domain to. Once you have that information, you can head over to your domain host and modify the A records. Log into your domain host account and navigate to the domain management page. When you point a domain here to your site, there are three key pieces of information that you'll be working with. The record type. There are other types of records you can select. For example, a CNAME record, but in this case, you'll want to use A records. The host name. For example, www and at or root. The IP address the host name points to, which you can find by changing your site address in the settings. Your website may already have A records set up with a different IP address. If that's the case, all you really need to do is edit the IP address and save the changes. Some registrars use a different type of record for the www hostname, called a CNAME. If your registrar uses a CNAME record for www, you don't need to add an A record for www. Just leave the CNAME as is and edit the IP address for the at or root hostname. When you're done, you should see something similar to the above screenshot. If you were previously publishing your site to a free square.site subdomain, that address will now automatically forward to your domain name. Just remember, it can take up to 48 hours for these changes to fully come into effect.